find y'all y'all partner keep your standards high okay and if it's someone that's showing red flags just leave okay period period i don't care it could be the smallest red flag you are not meant to fix them walk away because when i tell you my husband didn't have red flags he did he had red flags to other people but to me, I knew they were not red flags for me. Child, Portia's little speech about her husband, Simon, not having any red flags is seriously giving Delulu. Girl, what? In case y'all haven't caught up with the drama, Portia's husband, Nigerian businessman, Simon, has an extensive rap sheet. And when I tell y'all this whole drama is like another season from TikTok's 50 part, who the F did I marry, baby? I will get to the recent criminal record shortly, but before that, can I just loop you into how this man has been a liar, a cheater, and quite literally a walking red flag for years? For starters, can you believe that Simon used a fake publicity firm to lie about his net worth? Basically, the firm will post anything you send them as long as you pay them. So Simon used the firm to lie about his net worth and pretend as if that firm verified it by looking at his financial records. There have also been revelations showing that Simon's business website was a basic template with no real description about what he does for a living. And his businesses are a lie. And before you collect your jaw from the floor, let me just break down a few more things that are not even in the recent court documents. Girl, by 2021, Simon reportedly had 21 liens, nine judgments, and two loans from PNC Bank for his two Rolls Royces. He also allegedly owed a lot in IRS back taxes and filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy multiple times, with one in 2014 when his businesses went under for $3.8 million. In 2021, there were reports that he was likely filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy again for his Simon's restaurant and clubs. And just so you know, nobody went through the trouble of getting all this information because all these things are publicly available if you do a good search of records on the man. Okay, let's be real here, guys. Did Portia really have no idea about all these things? Especially when she was talking about her man not having any red flags? You want to tell me that she had no idea about all all his issues? Honey, given how these two got together and the dozens of things that just don't add up about the relationship, to a lot of people, it's really not surprising that this is the person Portia chose to marry. I mean, for those who recall, Simon and his ex-wife, Phelan Pina, announced their split back in April 2021. And in the following month, he and Portia announced their engagement. But what a lot of people don't know is that Portia and Simon had been messing around since at least September 2020. And Portia wasn't the only person he was messing around with. Around the time he announced the engagement, a woman by the name of Jessica Harris revealed to the Jasmine brand that she had also allegedly been dating Simon since she met him in March 2021. Jessica said that through multiple text messages, Simon told her that he wanted to get to know her more and apparently left her under the impression that it would become something between the two and that once his divorce was finalized, they could pursue an open relationship relationship only for her to learn about the engagement to Portia. How'd you find love while you were over here whipping me around in that Ferrari going 100 miles an hour and hair all over the place got me looking crazy on these pictures. How you do that? As much as Jessica was getting a lot of heat at the time, I can say she really did try to warn people about Simon's character or lack thereof. All it was just like it was just like you're a fraud. We're watching you on your live talking about your wife how she cheated and she does drugs which I can address that later and 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 you're in all this kind of stuff when you do you're doing the same thing you know it's like you're a hypocrite and you're a fraud and I don't like that still on those red flags back in 2022 Portia bragged about Simon giving her a $300,000 car as a present and she shared on Instagram some pictures of her posing next to the vehicle which has an orange interior and is decorated with a large red bow on the hood but it didn't take fans long to remember that back in August 2020 Simon's ex-wife Phelan had shared an Instagram photo of her posing next to a Rolls Royce which also had an orange interior. So the question was, did Simon give Portia the same car he gave Phelan? Well, as much as Simon said that he did not give them the same car, it was still pretty weird that he gave both of them the same car with the same interior. And just to remind you, these are the cars that had loan issues from PNC Bank in 2021. Oh, it goes on. I'm telling you, this man is a scammer through and through. There's so much more information about his businesses not adding up, his mansions, the private jets, and so 
so many other things that he faked and paid for to present as a millionaire. Now to the court documents that have recently once again exposed Simon. Note that his crimes actually began in 1982 when Simon first came to the country using a visitor's visa before voluntarily leaving in 1985 after a string of issues with the police involving credit card fraud. Let me tell y'all, this man was busy, busy, busy with law enforcement in the US because in August of 1982, he overstayed his visa. In September of 1987, he pleaded guilty to bank and credit card fraud, which is a felony offense. In January 1989, he was arrested for unauthorized use of a vehicle. And in 1990, he was arrested for ID fraud. In 1991, after overstaying his visa, he found himself on the wrong side of the law again. He was ordered to be deported, and the following year, he was physically removed from the United States. Let's just say that Simon was very much determined to stay in the U.S., and he scammed his way back under a different identity under the Special Agricultural Worker, SAW program. As part of SAW immigration benefits, Simon's temporary resident status was automatically converted to permanent resident status following the waiting period. That basically meant that he became a permanent resident under the radar of immigration authorities. But the court documents say he was successful because he lied on the application, saying that he was never arrested and had a clean record. Honey, all these shenanigans came to light during Simon's application for U.S. citizenship, an application that was previously denied not once, but twice. Initially in 2016, his attempt at naturalization was rejected because his permanent resident status was was unlawfully granted. He then filed another application in 2020 only to face denial once more for not being lawfully admitted for permanent residence. Clearly that was not enough for Simon because he filed another complaint in 2023 asking the court to vacate the denial and grant him U.S. citizenship. But on January 11th of this year, the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services was granted the right to dismiss the case. So something else that the court documents noted was that Simon's marriages have been a scam. He is being accused of faking a marriage to stay in the country where he was exposed by his previous wife who said they didn't live together and never consummated the marriage. Basically, the court documents clearly outline how Simon, one, applied for SAW benefits under a different identity, two, misrepresented his marital status, three, improperly answered no to the question of whether he had any prior arrests or convictions, four, incorrectly answered no to the question about whether there was any factual basis that made his inadmissible given his criminal history, and five, misstated the date of his last entry into the United States. Based on all that, the court concluded that Simon's permanent residency for purposes of his naturalization application depends on his permanent residency status achieved from his SAW benefits, which he achieved through misrepresentations and omissions regarding his identity, criminal history, and other personal characteristics, and thereby his permanent residency status is not lawful for purposes of granting his application for naturalization. Without lawful permanent residency status, Simon's complaint fails to state a claim that he meets the eligibility requirements for naturalization. And given how much he has lied throughout the process for like two decades, Simon is likely to be deported again. Basically, it's game over for him. But what does that mean for Portia? You know what? Simon actually responded to struggling to gain citizenship in the U.S. and he insisted that he was doing well when he shared a selfie on Instagram. But as far as Portia is concerned, she probably knows that Simon is at risk for being investigated and deported, which is why she agreed to join RHOA again. Baby girl needs income that she can keep separate from Simon's income. What I know is that they will definitely be giving other castmates storylines a run for their money on Real Housewives of Atlanta because there's no beating Simon's messy past. Also, I highly doubt that Portia Portia will be joining her man once he gets deported. But let me know what your thoughts are about Simon getting exposed. Did Portia really not know about all these publicly available details? And what's your bet on how this relationship will play out after this? Sound off in the comments section below.